welcome to the brand new studios of the Digital Production Buzz. Let me give you a tour. We've spent the last four months building a brand new studio facility to allow the Digital Production Buzz to grow into both an audio and video podcast. What I want to do is show you the studio in the control room, the gear we selected, and how we put it together. DTS built this facility 20 years or so ago, acoustically treated it because they were working with a new concept in surround sound, which they eventually rolled out to movie theaters. Well, they moved out of this space a long time ago, but recently we took it over. I mean, how can you turn down an acoustically treated studio? Take a look. Here is our new studio, more than 500 square feet of production space. This is a great place for doing training, newscasts, interviews, and other smaller projects. We installed four new Blackmagic Design Studio cameras and supported them using both Manfrotto and Liebeck tripods and heads. We then added prompters from Prompter People for two of the cameras. The lighting grid is all new, although we started with pipes and fasteners from Home Depot and painted them black. Then we added Leprechaun lighting dimmers, Mole Richardson lights and Lecos, and a complete lighting control system, which I'll show you in a minute. Where the DTS audio mixer used to be, we replaced it with the set for the digital production buzz. The entire environment, from ceiling to floor, is designed to minimize echoes and maximize audio quality. While we use a variety of mics, depending upon the project, for the buzz, we really like the sound of these Electrovoice RE20 mics. We chose the Behringer audio system because it allows us to put a remote snake in the studio, which supports 16 audio inputs and 8 audio outputs connected to the control room via a single Ethernet cable. And I should also mention that we kept the 20-foot projection screen with built-in theater speakers, and these sound amazing. The goal and key benefit of our entire system is live webcasting. From here, we can stream live audio and, at the same time, live 1080p video anywhere in the world. This gives us the technical ability to respond to industry news almost immediately. While the studio allows us to stage just about anything we want, the real power of this facility is our control room. Here you'll find a 42-channel audio mixer, 24-channel lighting control panel, 16-channel Blackmagic Design ATEM switcher, and a rack full of support gear and about <laughs> two miles of audio, video, and data cabling. We installed five Blackmagic Design HyperDeck shuttles. These digital recorders provide instantaneous playback with the ability to record each camera independently, as well as the line output of the switcher. We also added a Terranex format converter to allow us to change frame size or frame rate or even sync to any external source in real time. This is the other half of the Behringer system, their X32 producer mixing console. This gives us multiple outputs for streaming and recording as well as split feeds for telephone and Skype interviews as well as studio monitors all without giving us any feedback. Currently. We're using a Leprechaun lighting console, but later this month we'll be swapping that out for an iPad control system to save space while still being able to control each individual light and provide on-camera light cues. We had a lot of debate about what to use for a video control system. We have about eight video sources, four cameras, two computers, Skype, and graphics, and ultimately we picked the ATEM switcher from Blackmagic Design, and then we supplemented it with Wirecast to provide online graphics and streaming. Because our control room is very small, it's about 70 square feet, we needed to be efficient with our monitors, so we used a large multi-image monitor for all of our video sources, then specific monitors for video scopes, cameras, and program. These are some amazing new facilities and a dream come true for me because finally I've got the tools that I need to be able to create some exciting new programs, which I can't wait to share with you. Welcome to the brand new studios of the Digital Production Buzz.